All right, first question is, what is your name and your maiden name? Gail Guadney. Okay, and where were you born? Albany County, Albany, Tennessee. And how old are you? I can't tell that. Is you getting 42. Okay, and what schools did you attend in this area? Uh, Hornby Elementary, it's grades 1 through 8, and I attended Obine County Central, grades 1 through 9. It's a consolidated school area. Do you know what that means? No, I don't. It's where all the schools in the area came together, all the kids. Okay, and uh, where did junior and senior high school students go for fun or on dates? Well, junior high students did not go anywhere because when I was a teenager, you could not date until you were 16 or 17. But we went to the Capitol Theater in Union, Tennessee, Union City. It's a walk-in show. Okay. And what kinds of music did you listen to and what songs were popular? Well, the Beatles were popular. And uh, who else did I play one ago? I can't remember. The Beatles and... Uh, Benton. Yeah, Bobby Benton. A lot of love songs were popular, real slow songs. Yeah, okay. And... Uh, what were the major tourist attractions in Memphis at that time? Well, I'm going to do the major tourist attraction for where I, where I was from. It was real foot light. Okay. And what major events occurred while you were in school, nationally, internationally, or locally? Okay. Uh, President Kennedy was killed while I was in school. And then the uh, sanitation strike, that occurred. And Dr. Martin Luther King was killed during that time. Okay. What kinds of clothes did you wear? Uh, it would be considered dress clothes today. The girls wore skirts and blouses or dresses, always with pantyhose, like in the dress for church, and boys usually wore slacks and shirts. Okay. And what were the best places to eat? The best places to eat? Uh, for my area, probably Blue Bank. Catfish place, and for girls and boys, it was called the Dairy Queen. We just go grab a hamburger. Okay. And where do you, where did you do most of your shopping? Uh, this little place in Obine called Eddie's Boutique. Okay. And were there any malls or shopping centers around? No, no malls or shopping centers. Those were obsolete. Okay. Never what ce <laughs> what celebrities came to Memphis that you remember? Uh, the Beatles came. Okay, and what section of Memphis did you grow up in, or what was that area like today? Well, I'll tell you what it was like now, what, where it was like then. It was like, um, I thought it was sort of like a town that I grew up in, but now when I go back, it'd be called real picky, real rural. Okay, and uh, what new major streets or sections have been added to Memphis since you were younger? Well, uh, I'm going to tell you, in my town, through between Obine and Union City, or Dyersburg. Now, it's a four-lane highway that's been added through. It used to be just 51 all the way north. Okay. Um, what was the worst snowfall or bad weather that you can remember? In uh, what year did it occur, and when do you remember? What do you remember especially about it? Uh, the snowfall was in 1968, and I believe it was in March or April. And it was during, uh, it was between like the sanitation strike and Martin Luther King's death. I can't remember how much. I remember everything was just like stopped. Okay. Uh, and who were some of the outstanding mayors that you can remember, and what do you remember about them? I don't really remember that much. I do remember that Henry Lowe was mayor of Memphis. He was always on the news and stuff. <clears throat> okay. Um. What, what, were, um, what were some of the popular TV shows? And do you remember any local TV shows? What were they, or however how old are you on radio shows? <laughs> uh, the popular TV shows was like Lawrence Welk, mm -hmm. Ed Sullivan. Mm -hmm. Those were probably more adult shows, but we've watched them. And then for children, it was uh, Superman, the old Superman, and Tarzan, and Shirley Temple. The Long Ranger. I forgot about that. The Long Ranger. And uh, Happy, let's see, let me think. There was a local TV show here in Memphis. I think it was called Happy House Show. And so, uh, what were some of the big businesses or industries? 
Well, where I was from, it's a place called American Metals, and it's closed down now. And Salant and Salant and Brown Shoe Company, but a lot of those are closed. Okay, and last question. In what ways has Memphis changed since you were growing up here? Let's talk about where I was from, how it's changed, okay? Like now, not hardly any of the young children stay there because back when I was growing up, a lot of the boys wanted to be farmers just like their dads, but there's no jobs and stuff around because all the big businesses have moved from the rural area to the cities. Okay. Thank you for your interview. You're welcome, Erin.